Hello everybody, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to talk with you about Streamlit, which is a Python library that allows you to create web application with interactive user interface. It can be used in any data science and machine learning project that, for example, you did some analysis in the Python or you have created some models and you would like to share the result with others. Then in this case, a streamlet is going to be a really great option for you in order to create dynamic mm, data science application. A streamlit application can be built using Python. It is running on the web browser and it's really easy to use and deploy. Here uh, you can see the website of streamlit. As you can see, the syntax of the code is really easy. You need just to import the streamlit and any other library that you need for your script. Then write a specific comments and then you can have different graphics and visualizations. Here uh, you can see how you can install the Streamlit. It is as easy as installing it through pip. And then you can here import, for example, a Streamlit hello, not importing, but you can call a Streamlit hello and it's launching you a web application to see the default demo application. And uh, it has a great documentation as well. Uh, you can check it out. For example, here you can see how to get a startup. It guides you over, for example, the installation, how you can use it to do, for example, virtual environment, uh, for example, by using Anaconda, Else, uh, you can also directly install it through the um, virtual, other virtual environments. So here I'm not going to work how you need to install the Streamlit and how you need to work with it. I just wanted to show you the capability of Streamlit applications. So let me go toward the gallery that here you can see there are different applications that you can play around. A good thing about Streamlit is that you can upload your application on their cloud server. As the free user, you can have as much as public repositories that you want. You need to uh, upload your code on GitHub and then connect your space in the Streamlit cloud service to the specific repository. As the free user, you can have one private repository as well. So let me show you, for example, the generate tweet application, which is an application that uses the GPT-3 uh, Da Vinci model in order to create, to generate, let's say, a tweet. Here I'm inserting the topics, the mood, and if we want to include any Twitter account mention. And there we go. Uh, it is written, the data science has the power to transform industries and unlike insight that can benefit humanity with the hashtag of data science. So as you can see, it is uh, visually really uh, nice and it's a, it has a good user interface. Uh, it has lots of application. Another alternative to Streamlit is Flask, uh, but personally, I find it much easier to use a Streamlit application, and you don't need to involve in a lot of uh, JavaScript or the CS, uh, CSS part uh, in order to uh, design your output while the Streamlit, if you want to have a small application, is really easy and straightforward to use. Hope it helps you to, uh, uh, this video helped you in order to uh, start playing with the Streamlit. Uh, the documentation is really easy to use and hope you can create your interesting applications using this library. Thank you.